They say that love is blind. You must have read my mind. You think you were surprised? I mean, I was just doing a routine inspection of Crane Industries, when all of a sudden I'm swimming in fish parts. And you tried to get up, but the floor was just too slippery. It must have looked like something out of a Jerry Lewis movie. You okay? <laughs> Teresa! Teresa! Whitney! You were daydreaming about Ethan Crane again, weren't you? Ethan's not the only thing. You know, that can save it for someone who doesn't know you. When are you gonna get it through your head? Ethan is trouble for you. I am not begging for trouble, Whitney. You could have fooled me. Going back to work in the Crane Mansion is what I call dancing a little too close to the flame. I am working for Ivy Crane, Ethan's mother, not Ethan himself. How are you going to get over a crush you've had your entire life if you see Ethan every single day? You have no faith in me whatsoever. It is not about faith, Teresa. It is about facing reality. You and Ethan are never going to be together. You're just going to get yourself hurt again. Let's not talk about this now. Help me put together a new work wardrobe. I am thinking about your heart getting broken and all you can think about is clothes. I don't have to wear the disguise anymore. For the first time, I can look like myself when I go back to work. <sighs> okay, so what are we gonna wear? This. Oh, you are not gonna wear that to the Crane Mansion. What's wrong with it? You loved it when I bought it. Uh, it just doesn't seem to me like you're dressing to be Ivy Crane's personal assistant anymore. Well, what else would I be dressing for? <sighs> Ethan? That's what you're doing, isn't it? You want him to notice you. I'm right. Aren't I? Because I'm going to dress more like myself while I'm working at the Crane Mansion doesn't mean I'm trying to get Ethan to notice me. <sighs> right. I don't have to be in disguise anymore so I can stop looking like a plain little mouse. I'm going into fashion someday, Whitney. It's time I started showing more of my own personal style. <sighs> that is such a crock. I know exactly what you're doing. What? Living in this fantasy world again. Just like when you had this entire room plastered with magazine articles of Ethan Crane. What do you want from me, Whitney? My walls are bare now. All Ethan's pictures are gone. For how long, Teresa? Huh? For how long? The only reason I took Ethan's pictures down in the first place was because I thought there was no hope he and I would ever get together. Which hasn't changed. Except now... Ethan and I have made it through that stalking misunderstanding, which proves if you set your mind to it, you can overcome the impossible. So, so what? You're just going to go back to being totally obsessed with him again? I wasn't obsessed with him, Whitney. I just believed that Ethan would marry me someday, and I'd lived a lifestyle that went along with being Mrs. Crane. See, that is exactly the kind of twisted thinking that almost destroyed your family. Well, it didn't. If I hadn't have found that tape that proved you weren't stalking Ethan, your mother would have lost her job, and your brother Luis probably would have had to resign from his job at the police station. Not to mention you going to jail. If I haven't thanked you enough, I'm sorry. I really am grateful, Whitney. Then act like it. Forget about Ethan once and for all. Don't take that job. The only reason I'm going back to work for Ivy Crane is to get experience and make connections to enter the fashion world when I'm ready. That's it? That's it. I swear. Oh, man, it's so late. I promised my mom and dad I'd make it to the police benefit. I'll see you at school tomorrow, okay? You swear you're not trying to get Ethan to notice you when you show up at the mansion. See you tomorrow, Whitney. Mama, you're home. I I'm sorry I never made it over to the police benefit. That's all right. I left early anyway. You look tired. Can I get you anything? No, thank you. Just sit with me. I understand you're going back to work for Ivy Crane. 
wanted to break the news to you myself. I knew you'd be upset. I'm not happy, Teresa. Mama, working for Mrs. Crane is just a start. A chance to gain experience and make contacts so later I can land a job in the fashion world. I'll make enough money for my guild to go to college and you to quit your job. I don't mind working. What I do mind is you going back to the Crane Mansion. It's a mistake. But, Mama... But Teresa, I'm too tired to argue with you tonight. You are? Yes. Besides, I know nothing I say will get through to my very stubborn daughter. You must be careful. Getting involved with the Cranes can be full of risks. You've always defended them to Luis or anyone who said anything bad about them. It can hurt someone so badly it is still felt after more than 20 years. I don't understand, Mama. Teresa, I can only say that even as we speak, Mrs. Crane is playing a very dangerous game. And I don't want you to be caught in the middle of it. I don't want you to be hurt. Don't worry about me, Mama. I can take care of myself. Luis is home. I'm going to my room. Please don't tell him about my working for the Cranes. No, I won't. I want a peaceful home. I love you, Mama. I love you too, Teresa. It'll be all right. Ethan and I are meant to be together. 